So my name is Stéphane Leclerc and she's Maria Lala. We are both from Belgium. We have been working a lot um, in, as coordinators in different social projects. And now for a few years we have started to develop uh, audio audiovisual production related with uh, social issues. So we are really happy that our film is being screened here in the Socially Relevant Film Festival. We share the values of the festival and we hope that uh, our films will, start, will touch people and, and well, maybe help people to get involved in, in social projects. Thank you. Um, can you tell us a bit more about the film then? Uh, why, why is this subject and um, why this angle as well? We're talking also about uh, the reality of getting uh, behind the cause and not just pretending uh, to elaborate. <laughs> yeah, there are many subjects in the, in the movie. Yes. We had <laughs> lots of things to, <laughs> to, to share with people. Not something special to say, but we, we want to... Um, we want to show different experiences, the different uh, part of lives. Um, people, um, yeah, we, we are in, a, we are living in a country with, uh, without any rights, without uh, any any f any future, uh, and the, the, the difficulties they, they face um, day by day. And but the. Um, the, the context is different for, for some. There are, there are some migrants the, who can uh, go back in their country, but there are other ones who, who can't because they, they, they will die if they, if they come back. And we we want to we want to show this and um, yes and give some um, some context, some information to uh, to make people uh, think about it. It's one of the subjects. Uh, another one is the the activism. It's yeah. what, what people can can do when you when yeah. you when you know someone uh, who's a migrant who has uh, um, uh, a really really difficult life well, um, what can you do to to help him but concretely yes and it's funny because um, I know there are also some laws that uh, say uh, if you help a migrant in certain situation it's not allowed so it's uh, um, so it could be against the law even to mm -hmm. to do something like I think. Well, it, you can't uh, take them on your car and cross the channel. But that maybe that mm -hmm. makes sense. <laughs> but uh, I think in some countries even you can't feed them or mm -hmm. you know. So it's really interesting as a citizen. What's my responsibility really? And uh, yes, um, yes, there, there are loads, uh, loads that exist and that. Um, want to make some some barriers yes. <laughs> to people who want to who, who yeah. help each yeah. other yeah. and for example if you um, if you want to help uh, someone to uh, to have a visa to, to come in in your country yeah. uh, you take um, a, a big financial risk and this uh, amount of risk um, increased in the in the, the last years mm -hmm. and now you, you, you risk to lose um, 10, 10 thousand uh, dollars if you if you help mm. someone just to, to have a visa. Mm -mm. So do you think we should uh, go on hunger strike because of what's happening in the in Europe? Is it something well, we should do? I think we have to try to do something in, in relation with activism. This is something we wanted to talk about in our film. What can we do? What, what can someone do? And between trying to change the world or just have one person uh, to protest or and we don't have the answer or the solution but we we like the idea that this film motivates people to get involved and, and be active in and engage in, in whatever cause they, they think they can be useful or help and, and at whatever level uh, and this is what I think is important that everybody just, just doesn't think about himself but at some point even if you are your own problems you can try to also do something for others and, and it can be just having one person, I don't know, in the street or neighbor, or get engaged in, in a more political level if you want or if you can. But <laughs> yes, it's doing something. I would, let's do something. Yes. Because what we see is that the, the governments are not doing their job. <laughs> That's 
Um, what about the, the movie? What uh, has been shown um, previously? What what is uh, what 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 are you doing with it? Is it going to uh, other festival and uh, let you maybe? Well, we have sent it around to some festivals during one year now. It's okay. Has been in seven festival and then could be also oh, okay. in Bogota, I think, in a month or two. And. Uh, and we'll see. It's the distribution is really difficult, so okay. we'll try to screen it in a theater or two in Belgium, and then we'll put it on online, I guess, and uh, have it for people to screen and organize screenings locally. I think. Okay. Uh, but it's so timely. I wish uh, in Europe a TV could, you know, TV could pick it up. Maybe uh, that would be. A yeah, we would love it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, so so we, <laughs> Yeah, it's also a film where pe yeah. uh, different languages, different subtitles, yeah. so it doesn't help either to, to have it uh, on television. But. Uh, one last question, unless you want to, feel free to add anything. I want to ask you, is how did you, did you learn about our festival and uh, what do you think of a festival dedicated to social, uh, social issues? What? When we first saw the, um, the tagline of the, of the festival, it, it was um, incredible because it's uh, exactly what we want to do uh, in doing movies. So uh, yeah, we, we clearly we are clearly showing the, the values of the festival, and uh, we hope it will uh, it will grow.